Are you wondering how to write better content with AI that actually sounds like you, converts better, and is not the same chat GPT slop that we see all over the internet these days? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be providing you with my favorite tips for writing better content with AI. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome, my name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that in the video description or pinned comment below. So my first tip to write better content with AI is to stop using the free version of ChatGPT. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, I think the free version of ChatGPT is actually a bad product. I've been a subscriber of Plus ever since it rolled out about two years ago, and for only $20 a month, this is one of the best investments that I've ever made, especially when it comes to AI writing. So why would I say this? Well, number one, I went ahead and created a free chat GPT account. I haven't seen what this looks like in quite some time, just so I could see what it looks like with the interface and what you get access to. And the very first thing that I notice is when I click this drop down, there is no option to change models. So by default, you're using a low quality, far less superior model with the free version of ChatGPT compared to what you get for Plus. If I had to guess, it's probably GPT-40 mini or some sort of mini version or some lesser form of GPT-40 because OpenAI is not going to give its most advanced models to free users of ChatGPT. It just makes no sense why they would do that. The other downsides of ChatGPT's free plan include less usage. So if you use this a lot for writing, you're probably gonna run out very quickly. You also can't create custom GPTs or ChatGPT projects to give you a more customized version by uploading knowledge of yourself, writing samples, giving it custom instructions. Those are just a few huge limitations in my opinion. But if we X out of this, back to that model discussion, You'll see on ChatGPT Plus, I have all of these different models that I can use. GPT-40 and GPT-4.5 in particular are the models that you wanna use for writing content. These O3 and O4 mini, those are reasoning models. We don't wanna use those for content creation. Those are better for reasoning type prompts. But what I'm trying to say here is in the free version of ChatGPT, you're very limited in not only usage, but you don't even get access to the best writing models that OpenAI has available. And my second tip for writing better content with AI is to use a customized version of AI. And I alluded to this earlier, but what do I mean by customized version? Well, this comes in the form of a custom GPT, a chat GPT project, a Claude project, or a perplexity space. Now I won't recommend using perplexity for writing content per se, but perplexity does have its own version of this. So let's look at a custom GPT for example. And by the way, I have tutorials for how to create all of these things and I'll leave all of that in the video description below. But with a custom GPT, what you can do is give it instructions. You can give it writing samples. You can give it you know, information on your writing tone, your style and just other details to get better outputs that sound like you and also exclude certain AI words and phrases. So in this example, I have a Ryan Dozer AI agent custom GPT. I also have custom GPTs for writing emails, for writing blog posts, for writing YouTube titles, descriptions, etc. And if I click edit GPT on the back end here, you can give it custom instructions to improve your writing style. So use the provided knowledge to mimic my writing style. Use a writing tone that shows expertise, serious, and empathy. Write at a ninth grade reading level. Avoid these words words, do not start a sentence with the same two words in a row, et cetera, right? We're fine tuning these instructions to improve our writing outputs so it doesn't sound like AI wrote it. And then when the knowledge component, I can upload different writing samples or different you know, PDFs or just other things that sound like me so I can train this custom GPT. I uploaded a bio, I uploaded examples of LinkedIn posts that I've created. I uploaded a LinkedIn profile, common AI words and phrases to avoid. And also you can add any other details in here that you want. 
The exact same thing applies to a chat GPT project. This is a little different than a custom GPT and I have a full video explaining those differences. But in here I have my own personal brand chat GPT project where I've uploaded all of these different files here to train it. And I've also given it a set of custom instructions to have it clearly defined what I want in its outputs versus just letting chat GPT run with it. You can also organize your chats in here. So that's a great option. You can also create a customized version of AI inside Claude. If you prefer Claude, you'll see I have a Ryan Dozer personal brand project, just like I showed you in ChatGPT, where you can upload all of your knowledge. You can give it all of these instructions for writing style, words to avoid, give it your tone, et cetera. And I'll talk about this here shortly, but I do like Claude 3.7 Sonnet a lot when it comes to AI writing in particular. But long story short, that is tip number two to improve your writing with AI is to use a customized version in the form of a Claude project, a chat GPT project, or a custom GPT. Now, the third tip I wanna share with you to improve your writing with AI is to exclude common AI words and phrases from all of your outputs. And right now, I'm actually on my free AI marketing essentials guide. So again, you can find this link below this video just to sign up for it. And then in that guide, I've included a section on common AI words and phrases. And I'll keep adding to this as it evolves, but we all know these common words from ChatGPT. Delve, embark, robust, endeavor, whimsical, right, etc. Uh, what are some of the phrases here? Dive into, delving, it's important to note. Now, you don't have to use all of these, but from my experience, these are just some of the common AI words and phrases that I have seen notoriously from ChatGPT, where if I'm reading something and I see these words, my instant thought now is, well, ChatGPT wrote that, and my credibility for that piece of content goes out the window when I see some of these common words. So how do you exclude these? Well, what you can do is you can copy and paste all of these AI words and phrases and then open up a chat GPT project or a custom GPT, for instance. And then what you could do is actually add this as a PDF. You'll see here I have common AI words and phrases to avoid. So I made that into its own PDF and uploaded it here. And for second measure, you can also add it to the instructions. So on the very bottom here, you'll see below is a list of common words and AI phrases used by AI models. Do not use any of these in your responses. And then I literally went ahead and copy and pasted all of these AI words and phrases from my AI marketing essentials guide. And so that way, when I'm using this project or custom GPT, for instance, it's not going to use the common AI words and phrases in any of its outputs, whether that's social media posts, whether that's blog posts, whether that's titles, descriptions, et cetera, any form of written content with AI, I want to exclude those common words and phrases. So again, that is my third tip for improving your writing with AI is excluding the common common words and phrases that we commonly see from AI tools like ChatGPT, Claude, etc. Now, my fourth tip for writing better content with AI is to try Claude. And I understand this is subjective, but for me and a lot of other people that I respect in the AI community, I think Claude is the best AI tool or Claude models are the best models right now when it comes to copywriting. In particular, Claude 3.7 Sonnet. This was a recent upgrade from Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which I was very impressed with those outputs as well for AI writing. But I would recommend just giving Claude a shot, comparing it to your results with ChatGPT and just see what you get. You can start using Claude for free. I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. But what I would recommend you do if you want to take your outputs to the next level, I talked about this earlier, I would create a Claude project. So in this example, I made one for my Ryan Dozer personal brand, uploaded all of the knowledge here, gave it all the instructions as I described earlier in this video to improve my outputs even further when it comes to AI writing. But that is the fourth tip that I quickly wanted to share with you, as I know a lot of you watching are still probably using ChatGPT to write most of your content with AI, maybe Google Gemini or Grok as well. But if you haven't tried Claude, this, in my opinion, is the best AI model right now for me and my use cases when it comes to writing content with AI. Now, my fifth tip for writing better content with AI is to use an AI writing tool. And I'm very hesitant before I say that 
because there are only a few AI writing tools that I would actually recommend to someone. And I've tested dozens of them over the past few years or so. And the one that I do recommend the most for long form SEO optimized blog posts is seowriting.ai. I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks a month to get started with it. They do have a free trial. And the reason that I like SEO writing AI versus most other AI writing tools out there this is one of the top reasons. They give you the ability to choose the AI model that you wanna use in your outputs. I'll be honest with you guys, most AI writing tools out there will not disclose what AI models they are using. Sure, they'll say they're using OpenAI or they'll say they're using Claude, but what they're not disclosing to you is they're actually using the cheapest version of OpenAI, which is GPT-40 Mini, for instance. But in a tool like SEOwriting.ai, you can use more advanced models. Now, it does cost you a little more credits, and I understand that. They're more expensive on the API usage side, but here we can use Claude 3.7 Sonnet. We can use GPT-40. We can use some of these more advanced models up here, Claude 3.7 Sonnet plus real-time SERP, DeepSeek V3 plus real-time SERP, right? And so that's why I like SEO writing AI is they're completely transparent, giving you the option to choose which AI model you wanna use to write your content. And from experience, guys, it does matter. The difference between Claude 3.7 Sonnet versus GPT-40 Mini is actually quite substantial. So just be cautious of all these other AI writing tools giving you the cheapest model possible. I also like the user interface here. If you wanna go ahead and try to create a one-click blog post, they just make this process really easy. They also give you a brand voice. So I've created my own Ryan Dozer brand voice so I can train it to sound like me. You can generate images, you can add keywords, generate the structure, add internal linking, external linking, connect to the internet, content syndication through different social outlets. They have an editor. You can integrate your WordPress site and auto publish to WordPress. So those are just a few reasons why if I had to recommend one AI writing tool to improve your writing with AI, it would be seowriting.ai. So those are some of my favorite tips on how you can write better content with AI. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give this a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. But also leave me a comment below. Are there any other tips that I missed when it comes to writing better content with AI? Let me know in the comments. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts. And lastly, if you want to take your AI skills and knowledge to the next level, I'd recommend joining my AI Marketing Insiders community. You can find a link for this in the video description below. This is a no BS community for marketers, content creators, and business owners who are looking to better leverage AI. And inside this community, I have about $1,000 worth of course material that's included in the monthly subscription fee, my AI Beginners Bootcamp, my Marketing Essentials course. I have a prompts database. I also do weekly live Q&A calls for an hour every week. That's your opportunity to pick my brain with any questions that you have. And this is also just an amazing networking opportunity to meet other like-minded individuals who want to improve their skills with AI. So again, if you want to become an AI marketing insider, you can find the link for this in the video description below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.